In this lesson, we'll learn about some ways that we can finish off the boots for our character. All right, fantastic. So we've gone ahead and caught up with this second boot and kind of caught it up to where we left off in the previous lesson on the first boot. So um, I've also come in and uh, magically gotten rid of the marker in the shoelaces. So we're going to work on that here in just a moment. But let's talk about uh, one of the things that makes these shoelaces look real. It's the fact that they... Uh, catch highlights and they cast shadows. So um, thinking about that, these shoelaces are kind of floppy. They're kind of uh, draped in front of the leather boots. So we need to come in and think about maybe adding in some shadows for those. So um, let's choose a color. Let's try maybe this one right here. And we'll just shrink that down. And again, I'm using our same medium broad nib here. So um, thinking about that, let's just come in and maybe start a shadow off right there. Maybe make that a little bit larger. And let me alternate back to my eraser, clean up my nice pretty white shoelaces. And we'll come over here and do sort of the same thing on this side. So I'm um, thinking about kind of the different widths of the shoelaces. Um, the, these, the loops are going to be a little wider according to the drawing. So maybe come over here and see if we can't find a value of this. Um, let's come over... See if we can't find a darker value here. Let's step back or undo a few times. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right, great. So uh, we'll come in here and even pull that, that original shadow color. Maybe pull it underneath here. Sort of like so. And just erase away right in here. All right, great. You can see how that's already making the, sh the the laces look like they're popping out. And we haven't even added any color to the laces yet. So um, you can do the same thing over here. Practice if you'd like. Um, think about maybe where the, uh, the shadow would be in relation to the lace itself. And come in here and just basically come in and draw in your shadow. This one probably might come something like that. Anyways, I'll go ahead and finish this second group of shadows off uh, in between lessons, but let's go ahead and move over to the laces on this, this screen left boot here. And think about the color of those. So these laces are all very th thin, so we don't need a whole lot of color in these. Uh, we just need a little bit of color. And uh, you can see here that uh, I've got a little bit of paint in there from the shadows, or a little bit of marker rather. So I'm going to use my same um, medium broad nib marker here and let's go ahead and choose maybe some warm colors just start off with maybe something like that see what that looks like as a lace color now the beautiful thing about this with the exception of these these kind of these reflections or these specular highlights on the laces we shouldn't have to worry too much about getting this color uh, into the darker values because it just plain won't show up so uh, We'll come in and give them in with this color first. Just like so. Don't worry about cleaning up the edges in between lessons. And I'm coming in with several strokes so I can get this fully saturated. Um, we'll come in and just color a few of these laces in here. Just like so. All right, fantastic. So you can see here how I'm just kind of coloring right on top of these darker values. It's not making a lick of difference. Um, those yeah, that yellow is not showing up against those darker colors. Now again, typically you would be working light to dark, and you would have laid this color down before you ever laid those colors down. But um, we're working on a little less. Um, meticulously a little we're breaking a few more of the rules here when it comes to the the marker illustration we're creating just because we're working digitally all right great so that's looking pretty good let's come over here and grab maybe uh, a little warmer color maybe something a little darker as well something maybe around this one right here come in and see what that looks like next to it might be a little too dark but we'll go for it sure why not uh we'll come in and Drop that color in right here as sort of a shadow color. 
Maybe a little darker down in this area. I think I'm liking the brown a little bit better. That orange just uh, was a little too vibrant. Now we may actually at this point want to come over and switch to our super brush just because it's a little more suited to uh, fine detail work like this. So uh, let's set it over here. Make sure it's not on colorless blender mode. We'll set it about a nine. Just kind of give a little bit of a, a two-tone, kind of a shadow to these uh, these laces. And if we need to, we can come in with a, a little lighter value and just kind of blend that, sort of like so. Now, thinking about these laces here in the corners, um, these are going to get a little darker as they bunch up and go into the boot. So you might come in with a little bit of value in those areas. See, I'm coming in really quickly and hitting those. You could also come in here, let me just rotate my canvas around. You could also come in and do sort of a line on the underneath side of them as well. Basically indicating that uh, there's kind of this shadow, this edge underneath. Sort of like that. Again, coming in and hitting the corners. We're doing this really, really quickly here. So uh, yours doesn't have to be perfect. This is such a small little detail. We're just kind of handling the details of this, the boots at this point. All right. Definitely don't want to do that. All right, so that's looking pretty good. I uh, got a few more laces here to detail, but um, thinking about these laces, these laces, uh, we've added a little bit of value to the actual kind of base color inside the shapes, but these laces here like this also cast shadows as well. So um, another thing you could do is come in here with maybe that same color we used for the lace color or the lace shadows earlier and just do a couple of quick lines underneath. You may actually have to go a little darker in value so it's seen. Uh, let's see what this one looks like. Just come in and hit with a really light shadow here. Let's actually come over here, see if we can't get something a little darker. There we go, that's looking pretty good. This color is off of those, those browns that we were using earlier. And just coming in and adding a little bit of a contact shadow uh, underneath the laces. All right. Just come up here and kind of rinse and repeat. Just like so. All the meticulous little details we put into these. Might even come in here and give that a little darker value, kind of on the underside of that knot. All right, great. That looks that looks really nice. So uh, we'll come in at this point and just kind of add a little bit more tone to these uh, these shoelaces, maybe around here where they're starting to disappear into the knot itself. But we're not going to go too crazy with this. We're doing this really quickly. Don't want to get too carried away, so we'll just blend that back just a little bit here. All right, so that shoelaces are looking pretty good on that boot. And uh, with the exception of the boot on the other side, I'm going to call the boots for this character done. So uh, again, I'll go ahead and handle the other boot and catch it up to this one in between lessons. But in the next lesson, I want to go ahead and move on to the final piece of attire that our character is wearing here. We're going to be looking at this skirt. And I want to show you how we can go about approaching this uh, and, and actually coloring this in sort of a plaid pattern. So we'll do that in the next lesson.